Hello. In this video, we're going to learn how to multiply a binomial by a trinomial. Now, it's assumed that in this video that you've already mastered FOIL, the multiplying a binomial by a binomial. And when you do FOIL, multiplying two binomials, you're doing four multiplication steps. So we're just going to extend the exact same concept of FOIL to multiplying a binomial by a trinomial. So we're going to have six multiplication steps. Then, after doing the six multiplication steps, just like with FOIL, we're going to have to combine like terms. So our first three steps are going to be multiply the, the, these first two terms, and then this first term times the, the, the middle one, and this first term times the third one. And then the last three steps, we're going to multiply these, and then these, and then these. So essentially, we're going to have six multiplication steps. So let's actually go through with this in blue x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 3x is a negative 3x squared. And lastly, x times a positive 5 is a plus 5x. Switching to pink, 2 times x squared is a positive 2x squared. 2 times negative 3x is a negative 6x. And lastly, 2 times a 5 is a plus 10. Now, we have to do our combined like terms. So the first term and the last term usually won't have any like terms. So I'm just going to start off with an x cubed. Now I see several x squareds. I see a negative 3x squared and a plus 2x squared. That gives me a minus x squared. I see a 5x and a minus 6x. So this gives me a, a minus x. And then lastly, we have a plus 10. Final answer, x cubed minus x squared minus x plus 10. There is a better strategy when you're multiplying the six uh, terms. So again, we've got, we've got six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. We had them all in a row. It's actually a better strategy to not write them all in a row, but to rather stagger them. So let's, uh, let's try this one. Let's start off with pink. We're going to multiply 2y by everything in the trinomial. So 2y times 3y squared is 6y cubed. 2y times a negative 2y is negative 4y squared. And then 2y times positive 4 is a plus 8y. Now, to do the next three multiplication steps, I'm going to write them sort of underneath the first three multiplication steps. I'm going to stagger them a little bit. Negative 7 times 3y squared is negative 21y squared. So I, I'm going to anticipate combining like terms. So I'm going to write my negative 21y squared underneath the other y squared. Now our fifth multiplication step is negative 7 times negative 2y. That's a positive 14y. And again, I'm going to put that underneath the other y term. And the last multiplication step, negative 7 times a positive 4 is a negative 28. Now, when you see this, we actually can combine like terms, but it's in a, it's in a more easy to see manner. 6y cubed has, there's no like terms there, but here my like terms are with my y squared. Negative 4y squared minus 21y squared is a negative 25y squared. And now I have a plus 8y plus 14y. That gives me a plus 22y and then a minus 28. So it's the exact same procedure. It's just that a lot of times students find this one a little more visually easier to understand. In the first example, we had everything all in one line. So we really had to focus our attention to see the like terms. But in this process, we actually write the like terms sort of in columns. right? So we have kind of like four columns going on here. And it's much easier to write the final answer. Mathematically, it's the same either way. So that is how you multiply a binomial by a trinomial. This can be extended to multiplying a trinomial times a trinomial or anything higher. It's just a matter of multiplying everything in the first polynomial by everything in the second polynomial. 